Hi, and welcome to this video on cell specialization and differentiation, content contained within the AQA GCSE Biology specification. The learning objectives for this content are contained within the subtopic Cell Structure, which is contained within Topic 1, Cell Biology, which is tested in Paper 1. Within the subtopic of Cell Structure, the areas this video will cover are cell specialization and cell differentiation, eukaryotes and prokaryotes, animal and plant cells, microscopy, and culturing microorganisms will be covered in separate videos. So, starting off with cell specialization and cell differentiation. A differentiated or specialized cell is a cell that has adaptations to carry out a particular function. The process of cell differentiation is when a cell becomes different in order to carry out a specific function, i.e. when it becomes specialized. Cells carry out this process of differentiation by expressing specific genes that characterize a certain type of cell. Once this has occurred, the cells only express the genes that produce the proteins characteristic of that cell type, acquiring different subcellular structures to enable it to carry out a certain function. This is demonstrated in the diagram below, where an undifferentiated cell has become differentiated or specialized, gaining specific subcellular structures, enabling it to carry out the cell's functions. However, differentiated cells often lose the ability to make new copies of themselves. Due to this, multicellular organisms must retain some unspecialized cells that can replicate when needed. These unspecialized cells are called stem cells. Most animal cells differentiate at an early stage, whereas many plant cells retain the ability to differentiate throughout life. It is important to note that in mature animals, cell division is mainly restricted to repair and replacement. Knowledge of three examples for both specialized animal cells and specialized plant cells are required for the exam. Sperm cells are specialized animal cells. Their function is to get the male DNA to the female DNA, contained within the female egg. The head of the sperm contains the nucleus and the acrosome. The nucleus contains the genetic material for fertilization, and the acrosome contains enzymes so the sperm can penetrate the egg. The midpiece is packed with mitochondria. The mitochondria release energy which is required for the sperm to swim and fertilize the egg. Finally, the tail enables the sperm to swim. Another specialized animal cell are nerve cells. They are also called neurons and are adapted to carry electrical impulses from one part of the body to another. The axon within the nerve cell is a long fiber which is insulated by a fatty sheath to aid in faster conduction of electrical impulses. Dendrons are tiny branches at one end of the nerve cell which branch further into dendrites. These connect to the next nerve cell, forming a network of cells. Another specialized animal cell are muscle cells. They contain filaments of protein that slide over each other to cause muscle contraction. The cells are long to allow contraction to occur and also to enable them to contain a large number of mitochondria, which are required to provide the energy for the muscle contractions. Now, moving to the specialized plant cells, starting with the root hair cells. The function of the root hair cells is to absorb water and minerals from the soil. They are cells that grow into long, hair-like structures that stick out into the soil, giving the plant a large surface area to absorb the water and minerals from the soil. They also have thin walls as to not restrict the movement of water into the cell. Another specialized plant cell are phloem cells. The phloem cells combine to form phloem tubes. They transport dissolved sugars and amino acids made in the leaves to the rest of the plant. This transport can go in both directions and occurs by a process called translocation. Sift plates are found between the cells and companion cells provide the energy required to transport the substances in the phloem. Another specialized plant cell are xylem cells. Xylem cells combine to form xylem tubes. They transport water and mineral ions from the roots to the stem and leaves. This transport only occurs in one direction, upwards, with the process of the movement of water from the roots to the leaves and then out of the leaves being called transpiration. The xylem cells are dead cells joined together with no top or bottom cell walls. This results in a continuous column of water running through them. The walls of the xylem cells become thickened and woody and therefore support the plant. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Check out some of the tutorials down below.